So everyone loves a strawberry. Come June, July time, nice bit of strawberries in, and cream, absolutely wonderful. And they're really easy to grow. In fact, they're too easy to grow because once they start their fruiting, they also start throwing out what are called runners. And basically they throw these long pieces of, of stalk out into the air and then that, on the end of that, grows a little plant. And then that plant will be weighed down and, and then it will attach itself into the ground. And they throw them all over the place, which is great, but the bad thing is your bed can soon become overrun with um, strawberries and, you know, like any plant, it needs, you know, a bit of space, a bit of light um, and its roots to be able to get down and, and get all the nutrients and not be overcrowded by other strawberries. So if you don't clear out your bed at the start of the season, then you'll have lots of strawberry plants all competing for the same amount of nutrients and you won't get so many strawberries. So it's a good time at this time of the year to get rid of all the, the dead and, and detritus all around your, your, your strawberry plants, around your strawberry bed. And then also to take out some of the extra strawberry plants that have, that have uh, taken root and then move them to a, a, another bed or give them away to your friends. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm going to start with just like removing all of this sort of dead leaves and, and the runners etc to see what I've got in there and then what, once I've cleared all that out I'll start removing a few of the different strawberry plants around the bed to give everything a little bit of space. So let's first give it a clear up. So all of this brown stuff you can get rid of that, cut that off, obviously being careful not to cut the new shoots from the new plants that have come up, even at this early time in spring. It will take a bit of time, but it's worth doing. Right, so that's the area given a general short back and sides. Still not completely tidy. And when I've opened it all up now, I can see there's like weeds, there's grass grown here, there's some angelica, um, all sorts of different bits and bobs. So next thing is, let's get rid of the weeds and then the grasses and dandelions that are not supposed to be here. Okay, so that is uh, all the weeds, or well, the majority of the weeds, I can still see another one over there already, um, got rid of, I'll get rid of that one later. So, a little bit more clearer. So now what I want to do is think about looking for my main plants and then starting to weed out, or not weed out, but take out some of the smaller plants that have been created last year and then I can pop them up and like I said, um, let them grow on or give them to um, other people. It's obviously good to renew your bed every, uh, every few years. Strawberry plants start to produce less as they go on, but um, I only sort of uh, renewed this last year, so the majority of the plants in here I wanna keep in here, other than these small ones that have, have grown this year. So any of these small ones that I do take out, it's a good idea not to let them actually um, flower and produce fruit in the first year. Let them pinch out any fruit that you get on your first year plants and let them put all their strength into growing their root system and getting a nice bit bigger for next year. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to get all the little plants out.
So, I don't know if you can notice or not, but I've got rid of quite a few, big bucket full of uh, small plants. Thinned it out a bit, so they've all got a chance to, to grow now. Last but not least, is to uh, give it a bit of a mulch. So I want to put a mulch down. I'm putting down uh, a bit of a rough compost mulch. Um, first of all, obviously, to feed the uh, all the strawberry plants, and then also to keep the weeds down and give something for the, uh, the strawberries to sit on you. And you can use straw, cardboard, anything you want, really. But um, that's what I'm going to do now. Whatever mulch you do put down, don't be shy with it. No point just having a little tiny bit. You want a good couple of inches all around the plants. And there we go, one strawberry bed tidied up, mulched, ready for a bumper harvest. The one thing I have forgotten, or I haven't forgotten, I'm not going to do it on this video, is I need to build an anti-critter cage. Because last year, I had this absolutely fantastic harvest of uh, strawberries coming, and then the next thing I know, this raccoon, the blackguard, was in amongst it and had the juice and lot. So. Uh, some sort of anti-critter cage is what I'll be building um, to protect my strawberries this year. Anyway, jobs are good.